Hello there, Virgo. Welcome. This is your bonus April 2024 reading. And since I got a lot of pos positive feedback on the house spread, I'm going to do them once a month. But I figure I'll also do the bonus one for you guys because, you know, you guys enjoyed it. And I really enjoy doing it too. And um, also, I don't know if you guys are aware that every reading that you actually view, you're getting the healing done because I'm sending healing energy. And I'm programming it so the whole time you are watching the reading, you're actually receiving the healing energy. But I want to introduce you to someone here. See this guy here? This guy is for my distant healing energies I do. Because if I don't have someone in person that I can put my hands on so I can heal them, I will use my bear. So what I decided to do is take each one of the signs. And each sign, you know, is you have a, um, a connection, association to parts of the body. So for Virgo, it's intestines, gallbladder, pancreas, and spleen. So I send healing energy to those areas here for you guys before I started your reading so that there is some healing being done. So that's what I do. I mean, if I have to do the hands, if I have to do the head, you know, this is what I use. So that's how I send the healing energy. This this beer has a lot of energy in it. Okay, guys. So without any further ado, let's start your reading. We're starting with the front door. What's about to enter your life? Let's see. Postponement. This is a four of swords, so maybe there's some kind of healing going on too. Um, but it's like maybe something's being postponed that you've been waiting for. And now, of course, we're in Mercury retrograde, so that does delay things. And also, it could be sometimes postponement is necessary. Sometimes it's if you wait for something, sometimes it comes out better than if don't rush things. Unless you think there's a reason to rush it for whatever reason. I don't know, but let me see. What we got here? We have the Hierophant. Now, this could be higher learning. This could be something to do with your faith. And also good commitment. And also, this is Taurus, the sign of Taurus. So, let's see. Justice. Okay, if you've been waiting for something to work as far as a commitment, maybe justice, Libra energy, a contract... It's being postponed for a reason. Okay. So now, let's move on to the kitchen. What's cooking in your kitchen? Nothing. You know, this is weird. This is no thingness. You know who this is? This is the Hierophant. Very strong Taurus energy or something about commitment. Or, yeah, higher education, higher learning. Or um, institution maybe even. Or the faith. Something about your faith. I like this card. To me, this is like going blank. This is like meditating. To go into no thingness. Don't presume anything. Don't try to put something there. See what comes in. It almost feels like if if you wait or even with the postponement of this, it won't feel like you got to go with the flow. And things will come out better. So we have here the four of coins. So with the four of coins, someone could be holding back or holding on. This is also like a blocking here. Like someone's trying to block their their chakra here. Their heart chakra too. Maybe someone... Yeah, as far as a commitment. If it's a commitment, someone might not want to let someone go. Or someone's not letting someone in. Take it how it might resonate with you. And we have the Queen of Wands. It has something to do with the Queen of Wands maybe. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have here... Okay, someone wants to mend something, fix something. Someone might like to sew. Someone might use a sewing machine in whatever they do for a living here. But this also could be putting the pieces together. Let me get the words on this Queen of Wands. Could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius, but it could be any sign. So we have here Player, Tower, Friend or Friends, Apology, Finish. First thing I got when I saw it, well, the way they came out, is that someone, it was a shock, surprise, that someone was actually maybe fooling around with someone's friend, or friends, and now there's apology and something's finished, it's done. But you could always rearrange these to mean something else. The tower is Aries Scorpio energy, and something coming out of the blue, something shocking, something surprising happened. Unexpected. But it could have something to do with a friend or friends. 
And it's going to involve some kind of apology in the end. Some might finish with apology. So take it resonate, leave it doesn't. Could be that Queen of Wands. Could have been the, the outsider too. If th that could be the case. Okay, let's see about what you're living with. We'll go into the living room and see what you're currently living with. We have integration. So with the integration, this is temperance. This is Sagittarius energy. This is trying to just blend things, trying to make things work. You could be living with um, maybe families that you're trying to bring together here. Integrate the families. Blended families. We have the, te look at that, we have the, the Ten of Cups. So it looks like what you're living with is working here. If you are trying to integrate something here to, with the family, it's working. I like that. And we have here the Seven of Cups, Options, Choices, Confusion. So I, I would think that maybe at times there might be confusion, but all in all, it seems like it's working. Okay, so let's go over to the office. And in the office, this is your work, your career, your business, your money. Let's see what we have going on there. Past lives. So there is a past life connection here. This would be the moon card too. Pisces energy. This could be something hidden, secret, but there could be something as far you could be doing something for your work that you actually did in a past life. So like I have to say, if you started doing something and you like took to it right away, like you like, oh my God, I know how to do this. I, I never went to school for it. How can I know how to do this? You probably did it before. Maybe not in the same way because definitely things change over the lives, but it could be something that's similar somehow. Okay. Or it could be someone that you meet at work that you had a past life with or a past lives or even the group. Could be the whole group. Let's see here. We have death. Look at that. That's an amazing card to come with that. Death, rebirth, right? Past lives. That really goes together. Scorpio energy. So there's major transformation, major change going on in your work environment, in your um, career, in your business, in your money. There's big changes. Okay. Transformation. And we have here the King of Swords. There's a truth here. There also could be... Okay, this is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. There also could be something to do with legality here with the King of Swords. King of Swords could be a, a judge or um, a lawyer. So if you have someone um, involved with this, there's going to be major changes through this. Whoever this King of Swords could be very um, beneficial for you. Let's see. Oh, look at this. We have the scissors. This is a floor scissors. So someone could work the floors, but this could be something is going to be cut out here. Let me get the words on this King of Swords. This could also be like a financial advisor, too. Um, let's see. We have present, karma, truth, excited. Look at that. We even have karma and we have past lives. That's a, that's amazing, the, this, the way this is coming together. I'm, I'm really shocked. We have past lives, we have death, and we have karma. It all falls together. And we have the present. So now we're taking the past life. We're taking something and bringing it into the present, this karma in order to tell the truth and someone's excited because it's it's going to probably cut something out or clear something up or it's something that's meant to be here okay so now let's go over to the bedroom what's happening in your bedroom the romantic life here we have suppression this is a ten of wands this is feeling like a heavy burden here as far as your romantic life let's see And we have the Page of Cups, but someone might be coming towards you with an offer here. Could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Could be younger than you. Doesn't have to be. Could also be bringing an apology. Oh, look at this. They're seeing things differently. We have glasses. They could wear glasses. Or this is saying they're seeing something in a different way. Or their eyes are wide open to something here. We have here the Chariot, Cancer, Energy. Someone might be coming very fast towards you. Okay, let me get the words on this page of cups. And we have here meeting blank before contact. That 
that's interesting. Of course, it doesn't have to go in this order. But even leaving that order is kind of kind of weird. Meeting blank before contact. I feel like it's a past life. Like this is saying you met this person before. And when you meet them, you might you might be blank or you might you're not realizing or you're not understanding it. But there's something about it maybe. Why do I feel why would I feel this way? You know, it's like and that might be because you know this person, but not in this lifetime, it's the first time you're meeting them. So blank could be a empty like a, a blank canvas starting fresh starting new so think of that you know someone coming in here with an offer and it might feel very familiar to you and they probably if they do and you never met them before you did but not in this lifetime okay let's go over to the spare bedroom and the other things that need to be addressed let's see fighting ooh we have the Knight of Swords here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone might want to fight for something. This could be your energy or it could be someone you're dealing with. Someone might feel, hey, you know, failure is not an option or, you know, very determined energy here. Very fast moving energy. Get a charm on that. We have here, oh, we have the, see, something's coming to balance justice here. We have Libra energy. We have the scales. Could be some kind of court case too. Something is someone's fighting for something here this could be a lawyer too it could be someone that's ready to fight for you seven of coins so someone is reassessing reevaluating this also could be harvesting too that something's gonna you're gonna be harvesting something something soon yeah someone is really checking something over now, maybe even with a fine tooth cone, it's like, I gotta really look at this. Okay, let's get another card here. And we have here the Knight of Cups. Ooh. Now we have two knights. Huh. Is that what you have hidden in your spare bedroom? You got two knights. Okay, so the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Let's see. Male or female? We're not going by the gender here. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing. Hmm, you might have two people that want to uh, get together with you here. There might be, you know, two choices here because you're reevaluating, reassessing here with the Seven of Pentacles. This person might come in first and then this person comes in and you're like, oh no, now what I do? <laughs> Let's see about the Knight of Swords. Ooh, a tower. Surprise, surprise. They're coming in quick. TikTok, they might feel like they're running out of time. And they're serious. Ooh, airy Scorpio energy. They're going to surprise you somehow. Whatever happens here, this is going to be a surprise. And they're coming in to balance things out. Okay. Let's see about this Knight of Cups. I'm trying to get way down the bottom here. See what I get. Okay, we have eventually money expect okay eventually expect money from this knight of cups whoever that is so there's something to do with money okay let's get a clarifier on the money hidden secret money Ooh, if you are dealing with someone here maybe your lawyer or somebody is you know a cups uh, you know a scorpio cancer pisces they could be actually, and we have the justice here with this. There could be something that you're trying to, I mean, say you were, um, okay, let's throw out something there, like a court case. There could be someone finds money that someone's trying to hide. This could be like from a divorce too, or something that someone was trying to say there wasn't money and maybe something to do with the business. But whoever this person is, they might find the money. They're finding the hidden money. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, let's go on to see what's hidden in your attic. So we're going on to the attic. So let's see, hidden in the attic. More money. <laughs> we have understanding. This is the Knight of Cups. Again. 
Understanding. Let me get a charm on the understanding and I have the cups that you have hidden in the attic. You got one in the spare bedroom, one in the attic. <laughs> we have here an open heart here. So this person is maybe what, what's hidden is that this person has been hiding their feelings for you. This could be the same person or this could be another person. Boy, you got a lot going on up above there. <laughs> in the spare bedroom up at stairs and in the, in the attic. <laughs> oh, these, these readings are fun. <laughs> okay, let's see. We have the devil. Ooh, you have the devil hidden in the attic. Okay, so this could be a Capricorn energy. This person that maybe wants to come towards you with their love is actually could be a Capricorn. So, um, let's see here. Get a charm on the... Oh, no, I don't need a charm on that guy. I don't know. Not on the devil. The devil could represent some kind of addictions, too. Because we're yet someone hiding something here, hidden in the attic. It could be someone trying to hide their addictions. Maybe they. this also could be obsession, possession, um, jealousy. It could be fear. Now, you could have someone that has feelings for you, and they might be just hiding, but this could be like saying that they have a fear of expressing themselves, too. Let's get a, um, another card. We have the Hermit. Yeah, someone that keeps themselves. Maybe Virgo Energy, here's your card. Maybe this is you. Maybe you're hiding your feelings for a, a Knight of Cups here. Again, it could be male or female. Hermit is keeps to the self or maybe even searching, looking in. Someone could also, with the hermit and the devil, it could be someone is looking to find answers, to find, you know, why why something is the way it is or why they behave the way they do or or um, why they feel like they're addicted to something. And they might be looking. You have understanding here too. So someone might be trying to understand something. This could be just someone really searching for the deep, you know, going to, to the shadow side, the going into the deep night of the soul. And this might be keeping a secret. There might be something, this could be your energy where there's something that really bothers you. And, and it could be about yourself. And you want to find the answers. And we're going real deep with that. But you can take this in so many different ways. So I'm just throwing a couple out there. Let's um, get the words on this night of cups. Oh, we have a loan. It's weird because when I was looking at this, I'm taking this part real quick. I said, okay, a Knight of Cups that has love that is also might be obsessed with you, but they're keeping it to themselves. And I'm thinking they're keeping, they're being alone or they want to get you alone. Maybe that's it. They might want to get you alone in the future here. Confess. Hidden. Ooh, hidden in the attic. We have here. To confess something that they hid or something you hid, however this might be, you want to be alone with someone to express yourself, to confess this in the future. Now, again, it could be you or it could be someone coming towards you. Now, let's see about the possible outcome. Participation. So this is the Four of Wands. And that would be coming together, working together. This also could be marriage. You might be getting married in the future. Let's see here. We have the miser here. Ooh, we have the four of pentacles here, which you don't see coming. Someone might be cheap or keeping things himself with the miser card. Hmm. Could be someone holding back for other reasons too. Or someone might just not want to let someone go. So we have here, oh, we got the Page of Swords. This card is really funny. This card, this kid is like painting the statue. Like the mom's going to kill him. <laughs> so it's like someone gets into trouble, like Dennis the Menace, I guess. Um, so this could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. This could be your energy, could be any sign. And someone could be, you know, any air sign is always about the thought about thinking this person could be always thinking always getting into trouble too <laughs> or does someone want someone to participate in something they shouldn't be doing let's see what we got here we have oop look at this we have the rhino so someone might be charging ahead in the future charging in 
Okay, let's see what's on the bottom of this deck. We have here the Knight of Wands. Ooh. So Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You don't see this coming. Okay, you can have a Knight of Wands that's very cheap. <laughs> so be aware of that. We get a charm on this Knight of Wands. And we have here, oh, but it's an angel here. So I would say this is heaven sent, whoever this Knight of Wands is. Okay, let me do the last card here on this Knight of Swords. A uh, Knight of Swords is on um, Page of Swords, sorry. We Oh, we have the Queen of Swords. Look, this card is funny. This woman is big. You know, she's this poor guy. She bopped him the head. And to me, it looks like they just got married. So why is she whacking him? It's like, the heck? Well, anyway, with the Queen of Swords, you don't mess with the Queen of Swords. This could be your energy or someone you're dealing with. And you got to tell the Queen of Swords the truth. Otherwise, she's going to cut you out or bop you in the head like that. Okay, we have here. Oh, we have the Ace of Cups coming in here, too. Someone might be holding back their feelings. You have a Knight of Wands here that you don't see coming. What the hell? How many people do we have here? Okay, Virgo, you got a lot of people interested in you. And um, here with the Ace of Cups, you might be getting some kind of communication from this person. This could be a letter, email, a phone call. But someone might be expressing their love. And this could be uh, Aries Leo Satchel. It could be anyone here. Okay, so let me get a charm on this queen. Right, I didn't do that, did I? Oh, I did. The charger, right? What was that for that? Oh, my gosh. Did I do it? Okay, that was for the sword. Okay, I didn't get one. Let me get it one for the... Okay. We have here... Oh, so yeah, this is... Look at that. It looks a wedding dress and, and tuxedo. So... Someone wants commitment here, long term. But it has to be, like, the truth here. So whatever's going on here, it has to be... I mean, you, you do have here... It's kind of interesting how you have the participation for the Four of Wands. And then you have, for the Queen of Swords, you have, like, them dressed up in their wedding attire here. And then they already have a kid that starts trouble. <laughs> uh, the whole family, everything's done here. A complete package. Hmm. It's it's so weird that it feel, almost feels like if this if this woman was married, this this is probably how her kid would turn out. It, I mean, because she's like that, he'd probably be in trouble all the time. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Let's get the word on this Knight of Wands that you don't see coming. That for some reason is holding back or not expressing themselves or they could be cheap with the miser let's see healing married apart love likely okay so maybe you guys are married to someone else they want to come in and they want to express their love or it could be that someone wants to heal a situation and they want to get married and we do have the four of wands here so let's see about the Page of Swords. We have here Lover, Jealousy, Message, Separate. Okay. Well, you know, for the Devil card, you definitely could have Jealousy there. So that could be something that someone's coming out and confessing that they're jealous and, that, and they want to be with you here. Okay. So we have a message here, Lover. Yeah, so someone's trying to get a message to you. We have a message here. So, yeah, you're definitely going to have some kind of contact. Now, let's see about the Queen of Swords. Someone's definitely contacting you, and there might be more than one person here. So we have after, realize, want. So after someone realizes they want something here. They want you, I think. Okay, so take if it resonates. Leave it doesn't. Um... I, I still have to do your signs. I don't know. That sort of threw me a bit. Let's see what signs you could be dealing with. This could be placement in your chart, placement in other future chart, past, present, and future. So we have here. Libra. Sagittarius. Scorpio. 
Gemini. Gemini again. And Leo. Okay, so Leo, this placement year chart, placement other people charts, past, present, and future. So we have here Libra, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Gemini, Gemini, and Leo. Okay. So take this as resonate. Leave it doesn't. Um, if you just checked out your sun, then you could check out your, your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more. It might give you that missing piece, that missing link. The part of the puzzle makes everything sort of click together for you guys. Okay, so. Um, thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, and your super thanks. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.